Happy 4th of July and happy July to you from Artwork Winona. First off, remember, July 4th, there's a free concert, a 4th on the levee. The rest of the month, we have so many exciting events, and here are the guests for our show. We've got the Great River Shakespeare Festival, we have wrestling on the levee, and we have some wonderful folks from an organ summer organ concert, and the Minnesota Conservatory of the Arts, and finally our good friends at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum for a chock full July on Artwork Winona. We'll be right back to begin it, and don't miss those wrestlers. What's a Southern girl? It's waking up before the sun rises. It's loving the simple things in life like the dirt roads that lead you home. It's working hard to get what you want. It's hanging your own stands, breaking your own ground, and strategizing every little move for that one moment when everything you've worked for is standing right in front of you. Even if I fail a million times, I keep pushing myself till I'm exhausted, filthy, and about to give up. And that's when the adrenaline hits. And we're back with friends from the Great River Shakespeare Festival. We have Aaron Young, the Managing Director, Jen Oswald, the Education Coordinator, Director, All Things Education, <laughs> and, oh, I'm blinking, Beth Gardner. Beth Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this before, haven't we, Beth? Um, uh, tell us about Servant of Two Masters. We'll start with you. Uh, Servant of Two Masters is a hilariously funny show we're doing. It's the third show to open our, this season. It is a brand new world premiere adaptation of the script. Uh, uh, we are Will it be as funny as Comedy of Errors? That's the point. I mean, I'm going to throw the gauntlet down and say it'll be funnier. Wow. Yes. Uh, and not only are we doing it on the main stage, but we're going to uh, travel it to bars in the region so you can see it in two very different circumstances, one with a beer and one without. Uh, and it's and it's uh, interactive and it's fun and it's ridiculously silly and it's a wonderful sort and of... And it's the great-great-grandfather of sitcom. It right? is the great-great-grandfather of sitcom. All yeah. of the uh, the media tradition, the Italian theater tradition that it comes out of, has all the stock characters that you're going to see in cartoons and sitcoms and vaudeville and WWE wrestling and a lot of different performance traditions that you know, you're used to seeing young lovers and heroes and all those types came out of commedia in Italy in 1500. Great, and that carries over to all the different types you'll be working with, Jen. <laughs> yeah, Tell us about some of those programs. So many different education programs. Uh, everything's going to start with the season start. Uh, first week of July we start our classes for the youngest kids, age four, and then uh, the next week starts going programs that go up to 12th grade. Uh, all students age 11 to 18 can come to see Thursday night shows for free, and that involves a pretty show activity and a talk back. Make sure they play. hear that. Thursday night shows free. Anyone under what? Age 11 to 18. Okay. Uh, just call the box office. It's called Chill with Will. Um, and so we want people to come in to see our shows. We want them to have a blast because we're going to have some good stuff going on. And then uh, the at the end of July, the 26th, 27th, 28th is our education weekend. Um, and that's when we have a group from the Twin Cities coming in um, and performing Two Gentlemen of Verona in our Black Box Theater. Wow. Uh, along with our uh, classes are all going to be presented presenting their final work, including Henry V, um, that Sunday evening. That's great. And tell us uh, uh, the rest yeah. of the shows, yeah. so, uh, everything else in two minutes or less, Aaron. We have Aaron. five professional productions as well as our intern production, which is a six. So uh -huh. we've got Macbeth uh, and Cymbeline, mm -hmm. then The Servant of Two Masters that Beth is directing, and then also a show called No Child, where one actress plays 16 different characters. Uh, as representing a teaching artist in the New York City public From schools. No Child Left Behind, correct? Right. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a new play called White Rabbit, Red Rabbit, where the actor knows absolutely nothing about the show. There's no rehearsal. They walk on stage and are handed a sealed script and have to perform it cold. Couldn't you just give them something different? Like, <laughs> lie to them and tell them they're doing Oedipus Rex? Or? What's great is they're told if they begin the play, they must finish it. Oh, they, can't stop. they cannot give up. And so it's it's going to be a challenge oh, okay. and a lot of fun at the same time. All right. And then uh, we also have our apprentices that are doing a production of uh, 
Love Slavers, Slavers Lost. Lost. <laughs> like LLL is what I can see. Uh -huh. And so a lot of Shakespeare opportunities. And wow. then our big fundraiser, Calathump, yeah. is on July 30th. Mm -hmm. uh, and that starts at 5 o'clock outside the theater with a dunk tank, a band, all sorts of food trucks. And then we'll parade into the theater for a big variety show. So there really is a type of Shakespeare for all audiences, for all types. I mean, you get heavy tragedy, I'm assuming, with the Scottish play, and then you get total zaniness, zaniness with uh, many of the other selections. <laughs> and then some very important contemporary theater with No Child and White Rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit, Rabbit. And all the details are at G grsf.org. It's season 16, all throughout the month of July. And we'll be right back. Be sure to check out US Golf TV, where you are going to see golf products that you have never seen before. You're also going to see golf tips from some of the leading instructors around the country that are truly changing the way people are teaching the game and challenging the status quo. Also, you're going to see fitness tips that are revolutionizing the way PGA Tour pros are training their body and swinging the golf club. If you want something different, if you're looking for some new information, US Golf TV has it. Be sure to check your local listings. US Golf TV, we've got you covered. And we're back with, I would say, probably the most arts and culture you're going to find in the month of July. Lots of performance art, lots of culture here. We have Matt Wilson from the Humane Society Hi. and here to talk about what event? We have a uh, lovely Levy Mania. Um, it's being brought to you by uh, Doll Auto Plaza. Uh, it's going to help benefit the Winona Area Humane Society. Uh -huh. um, so we have uh, July 13th is when it's going to be. It's gonna be down at the levee, so right we're out there in the open. Levy mania. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're it, talking what type of uh, uh, activity here? Wrestling. Professional, Professional wrestling, wrestling hits Minnesota, right? Oh, yeah. On the Mississippi. And we we even got a Hall of Famer. We got the Honky Tonk Man. Wow. Yeah. So what day is this? The thirteenth. It'll be a Saturday. Uh -huh. um, mid mid July, um, and we got uh, we'll have food and beverage there. We got uh -huh. food trucks coming. Um, Island City Brewery is going to be uh -huh. helping to provide some of the drinking. A um, lot of other sponsors. We got Midtown Foods where you can get tickets now. So after the July Fourth live at the Levee, then you got Levee Mania. Yep. One week later, One on week. the Levee, and who are these guys? Yeah, who else you got at the show? We we got um, a, another wrestler. Oh yeah, who's yeah. that? We, we're going to have the claw, Baron Von Raschke, you know, he's a good guy. Okay. Well, well, I, I'm not uh, sure. All right, let's, listen, Matt. Yeah. Let, let's be real here, okay? Yeah. If we're going to talk about the people that are going to be there that are going to really put butts in the seats, yeah. we've got the deal, Chris Steele, right Where's that on your list? You're right. I, Where's that on your list? I, you know, yeah. I don't know where it went. I don't know who's writing these so, lists, but this is this is the this reason. is the deal. This is the deal, Chris Steele. I'm just the advocate. So good to meet you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, talk the about deal, a claw. Chris Steele. Talk about. And a who claw, is this Matt. gentleman? I am the advocate of the deal, ah, Chris Steele, Paul uh, Knight. The art so of the uh, deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, but he is the reason you're going to want to be down there and see this amazing event. Yes, yes. We're we're doing it for the puppies. We're doing it for the kitties, of course. The Winona Area Humane Society definitely going to benefit from the deal. Chris Steele. Remember, who's going to put butts in the seats, Matt? Right. Here. I will. I will do my best. And, you and forgot just, me on the list. Just so you know, Mr. Steele, is this this is for wrestling fans of all ages? This is for correct? wrestling fans of all ages. You but no bring... one thing. When I come there, yeah, I'm going to be putting the butts in the seats, Matt. Those puppies. And those kitties, because of me, they're gonna have the money. Because of Paul Knightley, they're gonna have the money. Okay. And and uh, where does one get tickets for this event? We got Midtown Foods is selling them currently right now. Uh -huh. You will get them uh, discounted if you go through Midtown Foods. It'll be ten dollars cheaper. Uh, or you can go through River City uh, Championship Wrestling online. That's the RCCW dot rocks, uh -huh. uh, and you can get your tickets there as well. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there'll be be crap beers and wine and all sorts of food and it's just going to be, be. It's oh, just, there's just going to be a, a, a lot of fun to be had. Right? Absolutely. I'm celebrating afterwards with an Island City Brew. That's and, right. And uh, I'm assuming, Mr. Steele, you're wearing the card? Um, <laughs> Wherever they put off? me. I'm oh. coming off of a suspension, but just know one thing, I'll be there. Oh, I'll okay. take on whoever they put up against me. We got so put some that on your little list. We got That's some fine. big names. Okay. Honky Tonk Man, okay. Ken Anderson, I don't care who it is. I'm taking down anyone. The Baron? Sure. Baron, really? 
I mean, I'll push his wheelchair down the ramp. I don't care. So okay. what a great okay. way to help the Humane Society here in Winona and to just have a good time with uh, the real deal, Mr. Steele. And it's uh, the deal, Chris Steele. Ah, the deal, the Chris deal. Steele. Now, is your Chris with a K or a C? Now C. he thinks he's smart, doesn't he? No, I want people to get I want people I want people to get it right. That's true. That's true. And this is Paul Knightley, who will be advocating for Mr. Steele. Absolutely, it's my man right here. All right. But you've yeah. actually you're the reason this is happening, so I just want to say thanks so much for bringing um, uh, professional wrestling to Winona and to our incredible Levy. So we'll be back in just a minute and hopefully We'll have even more all art and culture for you. Wondering where you can go to find great old movies? Well, look no further than HBC TV 25. Each week, TV 25 presents the HBC movie, and we won't monkey around. We'll show you movies like Night of the Living Dead, Giant Gila Monster, The Fat Spy, His Girl Friday, and others. Join us mornings at 12.30 a.m., and for those of you with better sleeping habits, Saturday afternoon at 2 on HBC TV 25 for the HBC movie. And we're back with two folks that are working uh, with the summer organ concerts at the First Congregational Church. We have Chris Necht and John Nino, and they're here to talk about the two offerings that are happening in July. This is an ongoing series that's going all summer, but July we've got who? We have uh, Dan Lewis uh, from Winona, organist at the First Baptist Church in St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Oh, coming from St. Paul, are we? All right. We're bringing in the first stringers. <laughs> and, uh, and then later in the month, uh, First Congregational's own organist, Sandy yes. Todd, Nancy Bagley. Oh, I love both of them. And both of them are above first string. They're, you know, top, top of the tier. They're top people. Yes. Um, and so tell us, how did this uh, uh, concert series come about? Well... Uh, initially, we recognized the fact that the First Congregational Church had done a great amount of work on their pipe organ. Chris and, uh, and uh, Mike Kennedy and I got an idea that it would be possible to do a summer series here uh -huh. because organ events in Winona are always well attended. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's an amazing community in all ways. Winona is we an amazing We just love community. our organs in Winona. We love the arts in Winona. Yes. It's well, really, thank you. Yes. I think, I, I think we'll have you on every week just to say that. In fact, we'll open with that. Uh, uh, so, so what is the program? If I'm going to show up, what am I going to hear? And first of all, do I have to bring a lot of money? Absolutely no money. This is a free will donation. Oh my gosh, free. Our, our, uh, our aim is to share this instrument and the literature that the artists will perform. Pipe organ at its finest. You'll hear everything from liturgical music to take me out to the ball game, right? That was heard at the last concert. Oh, okay. Accompanied by the those in, in attendance and the ah, singing was tremendous. Okay, okay. Well, we'll probably hear some Elton John or something fun throughout the summer. We, we want to make it fun. We want to make it entertaining. Good, good. Well, thank you guys for doing what you're doing and for stopping by to talk with and us. And thank you for having program. us on, Lee. We really sure. appreciate it. Great to meet you and great to see you again. We'll be back in just a minute. HBC Community Wi-Fi is a system of wireless access points installed in public and private locations Delivering community Wi-Fi to a remote campground or marina is an engineering challenge that can involve a lot of different technologies and require some creative thinking. HBC leadership is committed to delivering cutting-edge services to our customers and in the communities we serve. Providing opportunities for residential and business customers, HBC is innovation and creativity. Okay. And we're here with Jamie Schwaba from the Minnesota Conservatory of the Arts, one of the premier arts organizations in Winona, um, working with folks of all ages. And you're here to talk about a certain project that you just got a grant for, right? Yeah, we did. Absolutely. So we have Main Reaction. Um, and that is our new comedy improv troupe of youth that are um, ages 10 to 13. They are just a fabulous um, group um, that they auditioned to be a part of it. And each week um, on Tuesday nights, they are performing downtown um, 
on um, on Third Street somewhere. You have uh-huh. to go find them, ah. or you can look at our um, social media. You can look at us on Instagram or on Facebook, and we'll kind of give you a clue on where they're going to so be. So part of the improv, part of the improvisational aspect is where are they even? Yes, okay. but you can't miss them because they're wearing these bright yellow shirts. Oh, okay. So um, they're wearing matching bright yellow shirts, and they'll be somewhere on Third Street in between Lafayette and... Main Street. And what are the ages of these uh, performers? Yeah, so they are they are ten to thirteen year olds doing improv. Yeah, how amazing! Thinking quick on their feet, and they yeah. just you'll come and um, just kind of sit back for an hour and laugh, and you can kind of just enjoy being outside. And you know, there's lots of traffic going on on the streets, but we're um, they're going to be in different spots. They were outside of urinology. Um, they've been um, kind of on the corner. Um, I'm sure Blooming Grounds yeah, or Nate Alley's. Yeah, you uh-huh, name it. So uh-huh. you kind of just have to go and search for them. Okay. Like I said, check the social media. Um, it's part of the main Artists on Main Street mm-hmm. pro- on Main Street program, mm-hmm. and it's just um, a lot of fun. Um, a way to get people downtown and um, and laugh and have a good time. Exactly, and it's free. I was going to say, and I'm assuming since it's part of that program, it's free. Yep. Now you have other things going on all summer long at the conservatory, we right? Do. Do we always have people participating in classes mm-hmm. and private music lessons and things like that. Um, but we also have some great free performances that um, the community can come check out. Um, we have our music division concert coming up on July 18th. That's a Thursday. Um, it'll be at 6.30 p.m. Um, and you can come see there's everything from beginning students up through um, pretty advanced students. And you're a department of St. Mary's University, correct? So we're an affiliate program. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So we're kind of a community arm of St. Mary's. Uh-huh. Um, we are not located on the St. Mary's campus. Right. We're right um, located at... Right near Cotter, Cotter, right? Yep. Right across the street from mm-hmm. the Cotter Rec Center. Mm-hmm. Um, also, Blue Roads Hall is in the back of us. So we're right on the old St. Teresa campus. Uh-huh. So beautiful area. So if you have any... Um, young budding artists of any discipline they have everything from dance to fine art they have music you name it the Minnesota Conservatory of the Arts is the place for someone to study and your website is yeah it's um, www.minmn conservatory for the arts okay and your Facebook page I'm sure under yeah, Minnesota Conservatory Minnesota Conservatory for the Arts and this is Jamie Schwaba and um, she's always full of great energy and creative new programming. And we're excited that improv for young folks, the Main Street, what is it? Main Reaction. The Main Reaction will be happening all throughout July. And we'll be back in just a minute. Follow the National Circuit of the Pro Watercross Tour each week on Pro Watercross. It's not your average day at the beach. Featuring the best professional and amateur power sport athletes from around the world competing on the most beautiful beaches and venues in the USA on some of the most challenging and technical race courses in the world. Check out the high speed thrills of Pro Watercross on HBC TV 25. And we're back with some folks from the Winona County Historical Society, a brand new executive director. Gania Hesser and Jennifer Weaver, our good friend, the education director or that, curator? That works. Museum educator. Oh, museum educator, which always makes me think you just go around educating museums. <laughs> so that makes that's sense. A very big job. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Winona. Thank you You've so been much. here, what, an hour? Or? Pretty close. It feels <laughs> like it. It's been a. It's been a it's, Speedy few weeks. And you went right into chocolate, champagne, and Shakespeare, so that's not a bad way to start. No, no, not a bad way to start. And what's next for you? What's happening? How did we get you here? Tell us everything we need to know. Oh, well, uh, this is a little bit like coming home. I grew up in Rochester, and uh, my first job in the museum field was actually out in North Dakota. I had been out there for about 16 years, and after having kids, my husband and I were looking at a at a way to get home because we have uh, our parents are in the area and grandparents the lure uh, of grandparents yes. to you know free babysitting and all that good stuff. Well, uh, we've got, we've got to get them to move from Rochester to Winona, <laughs> and then it's so, then like it's it. easier. Yes, yeah. yes. But tell us now what's going on at the museum. Yeah, so we we dove right in. Um, summer is Gania was starting, and uh, we opened the Art of Fine Furniture, and so we hope people can come on down and see that. It's in its seventh year this year, which is really exciting. Some really unique pieces this year. And for uh, so those really that fun. don't know, it's furniture 
culture, uh, crafts yeah, men and women from all over the region, right? Yeah, then, yeah, mostly from Minnesota. We do mm -hmm. have several Winonans in the show this year mm -hmm. as well, which is oh, really nice. exciting. Yeah, so lots of handmade, high-end, really cool furniture paired with some art pieces this year. Okay. All, all made with some beautiful types of wood. And curated by Jamie Shell again? And, uh, Jamie Shell and Nate ba Bauman helped us uh -huh. um, curate this year. Um, and it's also free to the public, we should mention, wow. because we got that amazing grant from CMAC and Minnesota Legacy Funds. So we're always thankful for that. Um, so people can come for free. It is open through August 10th. So definitely come and check it out. There are some really amazing pieces and people can vote for their favorite and that artist vote for will win some cash. Table or chair, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now you have a satellite uh, museum yeah, that will yes, be happening yeah. at the yeah. local fair. Yep, yeah, well, we have the Bottle House down in Homer, which has been open um, since June 1st. So that goes through summer. But we also have the Rural Heritage Museum Museum out in St. Charles, and that'll be open for the Winona County Fair July 10th through the 14th. So we hope people come out and see that as well. It has a beautiful museum building um, with exhibits um, exploring our early pioneers coming to Winona County, as well as kind of our agricultural heritage. And then we also have some historic buildings on the site. The schoolhouse, right? A really awesome schoolhouse um, and a log barn and a log cabin as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, any parting words for us besides hello and we're um, thrilled to I'm, have you? Well, I'm thrilled to be here too. I'm just uh -huh. excited about everything that we're going to be able to do in the future with a great staff and a amazing volunteer and uh, community for the for the historical society. It's going to be it's going to be great. That's great. We're going to rope you into the cemetery walk your first year. You're going to do they some play tell, They didn't tell me about this during oh, the interview process. Oh, yes. You'll see. It's yeah. quite fun. We'll have a blast. Yes. Yeah. October uh, will be here before so we So look it. out for that in October. <laughs> the new executive director taking part in the cemetery walk. Uh -oh, She's uh -oh. just been lured in. Yes. That's yes. it. Uh -oh. All right. And we'll be right back. Did you know that Wi-Fi connects multiple devices in your home? So go ahead, surf, game, or simply watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere in the house on any device. With Wi-Fi, your house becomes a high-tech home. Unleash the internet in your home with HBC Giga Home Gateway. With speeds up to one gig, your whole family can surf together faster. We make it easy. Call 888-474-9995 today to learn how you can upgrade your home to a Giga Home free. Hi, and we're here with Bob Williams, from, uh, who's going to talk about the Dixieland Jazz Festival that's, that's once a year in Winona. Talk about it. That's right. It's uh, kind of interesting. All the wonderful festivals in Winona, Dixieland Jazz is probably one of the least well-known, mm -hmm. although it's in its 32nd year, so it's got endurance, longevity. Uh -huh. uh, it's going to be on July 13th on a Saturday. It'll be held at Winona State by the Performing Arts Center on the lawn. On the lawn. Where the sure concerts exactly. on the green used to be, used, right? Where they used mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of hesitate a little bit uh -huh. on where it's going to be. And should, I guess we have the unlikely event of rain, which never happens here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll move inside the atrium at the Science Center, I believe it's So it's a building. rain or shine event. Yes. And uh, who are the uh, headliners? Who are some of the folks that they uh, might be able to hear? We'll have three bands starting at noon or 12.30 afternoon, and it runs till 7 o'clock, so each band will be on stage for an hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a ragtime pianist, Jim Radoff, who mm -hmm. will be playing between the sets, so there'll be continuous music going on. Um, we have the uh, band from Mankato, one from the cities, and one from local here. And our purpose here in the, our society, local society, mm -hmm. is to perpetuate the interest and the appreciation and, and just the enjoyment of, of live Dixieland uh -huh. music. And well, we're a river we're town. Uh, people came up from New Orleans. It's part of our history. So it's important to come out and support and hear some great music at this festival. Yeah, and Lee, you said something about Jefferson's. Jefferson's will be providing food oh, at, great. at uh, the event. No liquor, no uh -huh. alcohol. Uh -huh. But they will be providing uh, sandwiches and, and drinks and chips and stuff like that. Uh, the last Sunday of the month, we also support, sponsor, I guess put a better way, uh, an event at Jefferson's mm -hmm. Pub and Grill uh, where, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the local jazz uh -huh. band 
place. So uh, the last Sunday of the month, if you miss this festival, you can always hear some great jazz. But the date again, real quick for July this? July 13th. Okay, all day long, the Dixieland Jazz Festival. And we'll be right back. Be sure to check out U.S. Golf TV, where you are going to see golf products that you have never seen before. You're also going to see golf tips from some of the leading instructors around the country that are truly changing the way people are teaching the game and challenging the status quo. Also, you're going to see fitness tips that are revolutionizing the way PGA Tour pros are training their body and swinging the golf club. If you want something different, if you're looking for some new information, U.S. Golf TV has it. Be sure to check your local listings. U.S. Golf TV, we've got you covered. And we're back with two of our friends from the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. We have Caitlin Couchet and Heather Casper. And, oh, they have a lot to talk about for July, so let's get right to it. Caitlin, tell us about Second Saturday. Yes, Second Saturday is our fantastic program. Um, we have a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board to do it. It's just $1 admission. Um, we off also offer free guided tours. There are art-making activities. Um, special themed activities, artist demonstrations. And what is the theme this month? It'll be storytelling, which Ooh. we are thrilled about because there are so many stories behind all of the different works that we have, mm -hmm. the story of the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. And there's a rumor that the Great River Shakespeare folks yes. are coming over to tell some stories. We yeah. are thrilled to have them. Um, you'll have to stay tuned to see what they'll be doing. Oh, I'm sure they'll be wandering around <laughs> telling us all about Picasso or whoever. Yeah, that's and and just so folks understand, one dollar to see the most amazing collection of art that you're going to see for uh, hundreds of miles. So mm -hmm. it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. Um, and, then and there's live music in the galleries, too, on those second Saturdays, which mm -hmm. are really fun. It really brings a nice energy. And in a beautiful place. setting. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The gardens are looking great. Which is a good segue for Mississippi oh, yes, Sippin. Yes. So uh, back by popular demand, I don't know what year this is, but we have a every Tuesday weather dependent mm -hmm. from 4.30 to 6.30. You can come to the museum, sit outside on our, we call it a river walk. It's kind of a patio with tables and chairs. Jefferson Bar and Grill does um, some beverages. I believe there's beer and wine and then some sort of food item. So you can mm -hmm. get a snack and enjoy the beautiful view. One of the few places you can sit directly on the Mississippi River. It's a great and place for a happy hour. And there's great folks. So it's yes. uh, you've that's come down right. for the people and the view, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And then there's a special lecture that's happening. Or? I'm so excited. All right, so everyone, so I've been working at the museum for 13 years now, almost, I don't know, 12 to 13 years. And our, uh, there's a lot of curiosity about how these artworks are conserved, how they are cleaned, who makes the frames, how they stay so beautiful. And the Midwest Art Conservation Center is one of the main conservation centers in the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Megan Emery, she is um, the conservator who works with 3D objects, including frames, is going to come down and do a free lecture. It is a Thursday, I believe it is July the 30th, Thursday, July 30th, 6 to 7 p.m. And it's free thanks to the generous support of the Ernest and Sally Mysick family. Wow, so now don't bring your objects I down and a, hope that you'll get, this is not like, is not you know, a, right. Antiques Roadshow no, where you can no. say, please help me conserve She'll my. just be talking about the basic foundations uh -huh. of the chemistry. I mean, these guys are uh -huh. scientists as much as they are artists. Yeah, they bring those works of art back to life. Uh -huh. And actually, it's a Tuesday. Thank you. It's a so Tuesday. what you could do is you could come to Mississippi Sippin'. Oh. Go to a city sip and then go in and see the Have lecture. a glass of wine, go inside and see Megan Emery present. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what I'm going to do. Now, are there any other special events? Not that that isn't enough. You have two exhibits. Well, that remember, are Tuesdays are always free for students. Oh, so okay. Any student. So again, tied right in with Mississippi City. Yes, Tuesdays are a great day to visit. Um, and then we also have, um, yeah, right, the Mississippi Sippin, the lecture, second Saturday. There's an art venture. That's a fun program mm -hmm. that I get to lead. It's one of my favorite programs to lead. It's for children 6 to 12, and it's $2 a student or a kiddo. Parents are welcome to participate, encouraged to participate. And what we do is we look at around in the galleries for some inspiration, and then we pull out all the art materials and um, create our own thing. So that's a 90-minute program. So mm -hmm. all throughout July, tons of reasons to visit. But one of the most amazing collections, you have two shows that are going right two, now. Two special yeah. exhibitions. We have uh -huh. um, Alex Soth that's going on uh -huh. right now through August. One of the most important contemporary photographers around. Yes. Uh -huh. It's fantastic. It's gritty, and they're just stunning photographs. So uh -huh. large and scale, juxtapose yeah. that against the ship and the nautical yes, work. Right? That's, yeah. that's Martin Placha. Uh -huh. That's very traditional marine art, but it's contemporary. Um, historically accurate depictions of and oil paintings of the USS Constitution and the early US 
U.S. Navy. And all of this can be found at mmam.org. On a full it. calendar of events. Yes. Yeah, or but give us a call. We're happy to tell anybody more info. Thanks so much. It's a busy July. Busy. Please spend some time at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum right on the Mississippi River. And that's our chock full of July artwork Winona for this month. We'll see you next month with just as many events. Mm -hmm.